Gang violence and crime are not just words. They are global issues that affect millions of lives, disrupt societies, and instigate fear. From the far-reaching corners of the world, these organized groups wreak havoc, engaging in a multitude of illegal activities. Murder, drug trafficking, extortion, racketeering, arms trafficking, and human trafficking are just a few of the chilling realities these gangs bring to life. They operate in the shadows, exploiting the vulnerable and challenging the very fabric of law and order. Their influence is not confined to a single location. Their networks stretch across continents, blurring borders, and impacting lives far from their origins. In this series, we'll delve into the sinister world of these dangerous gangs. We'll count down from 10, shedding light on each gang's activities and the severity of their crimes. From the notorious Yakuza syndicates of Japan to the ruthless cartels of Mexico, we'll explore their dark and disturbing realities. Shall we begin our journey into the underbelly of the world's most dangerous gangs? In at number 10, we find ourselves in Brazil with the Primeiro Comando de Capital. This notorious gang, also known as PCC, emerged in the late 20th century, born out of the harsh conditions within Sao Paulo's prison system. Their reach has since extended far beyond the prison walls, infiltrating neighborhoods with a reign of terror that is felt not just locally, but internationally. The PCC's activities are as diverse as they are brutal. They're deeply entrenched in drug trafficking, capitalizing on Brazil's strategic location as a transit point for cocaine headed to Europe and other parts of the world. But their criminal portfolio doesn't end there. The gang is also infamous for orchestrating some of Brazil's deadliest prison riots, a chilling demonstration of their power and influence within the prison system. Kidnapping, too, has become a profitable venture for the PCC, with high-profile targets often falling victim to their ruthless tactics. The impact of their activities is profound, contributing to a climate of fear and instability that pervades the communities they infiltrate. This gang's ruthlessness only scratches the surface of what we're about to delve into. Next, we move to Italy, home of the ninth most dangerous gang in the world, the Ndrangheta. Nestled within the heart of southern Italy, the Ndrangheta is not just a local menace, but a global threat. This complex syndicate, whose name translates to heroism or virtue, is anything but virtuous. Their sphere of influence extends far beyond the borders of Italy with tendrils reaching into countries around the world. Their primary source of income? Drug trafficking. They are, in fact, considered one of the most influential players in the global cocaine trade, a business that earns them billions annually. But their criminal activities don't stop at narcotics. The Ndrangheta is also deeply involved in extortion, a crime that feeds off the fear they instill in the communities they infiltrate. While the Ndrangheta may not be as commonly known as some other criminal organizations, their power is undeniable. They've woven themselves into the fabric of society, making them incredibly difficult to eradicate. The Ndrangheta's power and reach serve as a chilling reminder of the global scale of gang violence. Moving to Japan, we meet the eighth most dangerous gang, the Yamaguchi Gumi. A name that reverberates with a chilling resonance in the underworld, the Yamaguchi Gumi is one of the largest and most influential Yakuza syndicates. Their operations are as expansive as they are illicit, ranging from drug trafficking to gambling and from extortion to white-collar crime. They've etched a niche for themselves in the shady labyrinth of organized crime, leveraging their significant resources and connections to maintain a firm grip on their territories. The Yamaguchi Gumi's involvement in drug trafficking is particularly noteworthy as they've managed to establish a substantial network that spans across borders, fueling the illegal drug trade. However, their criminal activities aren't limited to the traditional realms of illegality. With a knack for deception and manipulation, they've made significant inroads into the world of white-collar crime, exploiting loopholes and weaknesses in the system to amass wealth and power. Their involvement in gambling and extortion further underlines the diverse nature of their operations, showcasing their adaptability and ruthlessness in equal measure. The Yamaguchi Gumi's influence is a stark example of how deep the roots of crime can reach. Next on our list, hailing from Mexico is the Gulf Cartel. 
This notorious gang has its roots in drug trafficking, but its reach extends far beyond that. They're not just sellers, they're enforcers, engaging in organized violence to maintain control. The Gulf Cartel is also known for its bitter feud with the Zetas, a conflict that has resulted in untold bloodshed. This ongoing war is more than just a power struggle. It's a chilling display of the violence and chaos that gangs can cause. The Gulf Cartel's ongoing war paints a bleak picture of the violence and chaos that gangs can cause. Staying in Mexico, we find the sixth most dangerous gang, Los Zetas. This group has a firm grip on the underworld, with their activities spanning drug trafficking, kidnapping, and murder. Their reputation for brutality is notorious, even among other gangs. It's not just about the illegal activities they engage in, it's the way they carry them out. Their ruthlessness and utter disregard for human life have marked them as one of the most feared organizations in the world. Los Zetas' sheer brutality underscores the very real and immediate danger posed by gang violence. At number five, we encounter another Mexican powerhouse, the Sinaloa Cartel. This formidable group is deeply entrenched in drug trafficking, money laundering, and organized violence. With its vast networks that stretch far beyond Mexico's borders, the Sinaloa Cartel has established itself as one of the country's largest and most powerful cartels. This group's operations are intricate, ruthless, and alarmingly efficient. The Sinaloa cartel's power and reach serve as a grim testament to the global scale and influence of gang-related crime. Moving stateside, we encounter the fourth most dangerous gang, the Bloods. Originating from Los Angeles, this notorious gang is deeply involved in drug trafficking and violent crime. Their power and influence are felt not only in the criminal underworld, but also in the communities they inhabit. A crucial aspect of the Bloods' identity is their long-standing, often bloody feud with another LA-based gang, the Crips. This rivalry is far more than a simple power struggle. It's a grim reflection of the cycle of revenge and retribution that perpetuates gang violence. The Bloods' violent rivalry with the Crips is a stark illustration of the endless cycle of retribution that fuels gang violence. At number three, we find the Crips, another notorious gang from the United States. Originating from Los Angeles, California, the Crips have gained notorious fame for their involvement in drug trafficking and violent crime. Their operations are widespread, spreading fear and chaos in numerous neighborhoods. But what really sets the Crips apart is their long-standing feud with another gang, the Bloods. This rivalry has sparked countless conflicts, turning streets into battlefields and homes into war zones. The Crips' ongoing feud with the Bloods exemplifies the senseless violence and destruction that gang rivalry can cause. Just shy of the top spot, at number two, is Mara Salvatrucha, better known as MS-13. This notorious gang, originating from Los Angeles, has cast a wide net of influence across Central America, Mexico, and the United States. Their main activities revolve around drug trafficking, human trafficking, and extortion, contributing to their fearsome reputation. Their ruthless violence and transnational reach have made them a significant player in the underworld, causing alarm and distress in the communities they infiltrate. MS-13's transnational reach and ruthless violence underscore the urgent need for global action to combat gang violence. At the top of our list, deemed the most dangerous, is the 18th Street Gang. This notorious group, also known as Barrio 18, has its roots in the heart of Los Angeles, but its influence has expanded far beyond, reaching across the United States and into Central America. The 18th Street Gang's ill-famed reputation stems from their involvement in a range of illicit activities, from drug trafficking to robbery, and even murder. They are a force to be reckoned with, demonstrating an alarming level of organization and brutality. Their extensive network allows them to control the drug trade in many areas, using violence and fear to maintain their power. Robbery is another common practice, with members often resorting to theft as a means of survival and to fund their operations. But perhaps the most chilling aspect of this gang's activities is their involvement in murder. These acts of violence, often used as a tool for intimidation and control, are a stark reflection of the gang's ruthless nature. The 18th Street Gang's reign of terror stands as a sobering reminder of the profound impact of gang violence on communities worldwide. It's a grim picture we've painted today, 
but it's one we cannot afford to ignore. We've taken a deep dive into the underworld, spotlighting the 10 most dangerous gangs in the world. From the Primero Comando de Capital in Brazil to the notorious 18th Street Gang, we've seen the vast and terrifying reach of these criminal organizations. They partake in everything from drug trafficking and extortion to human trafficking and organized violence, their actions leaving a trail of devastation in their wake. It's crucial to remember, though, that these gangs do not operate in a vacuum. They thrive in environments of poverty, corruption, and societal neglect. That's why collective action is so important. Governments, law enforcement, communities, and individuals alike must work together to combat these threats. Awareness is the first step. By understanding the magnitude and complexity of these issues, we can begin to address them effectively. So let's use what we've learned today not to fear, but to fuel our determination to make a difference. Remember, knowledge is power. Stay informed, stay safe, and together we can make a difference in the fight against gang violence.